Hey guys, um, how are we all doing? Um, I've just been out to get loads of ingredients uh, to make some really amazing recipes coming soon to YouTube, I promise. Um, and I also made this awesome Kit Kat brownies for our dessert for tonight. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these, these brownies, these ones, these ones. Yep, that one. Um, uh, so let's get baking. It's easy. It's just melt in your mouth. It's, it's stunning. Let's get baking. So I've got a pan and I'm going to start with 300 grams of um, unsalted butter. And to this, I'm going to add 300 grams of bits of dark chocolate. And I'm just going to melt all of this together. And here in the bowl, I've got 150 grams of golden caster sugar. You can use brown sugar, white sugar. And to this, I'm going to add five large eggs. And then I'm going to whisk it until it's fluffy it's doubled in size and gorgeous Now this is looking absolutely gorgeous, fluffy um, and it's got tons and tons of air in it um, so that is good. Now to this I am going to add this melted chocolate. So we've got our chocolate and butter melted and I'm just going to... So to this, um, I'm going to add our melted chocolate and butter, which is here. Lovely, gorgeous. So I'm just going to add all of it. I love the look of this because it just looks like a painting. It's just beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it back under the whisk for a few seconds till it's all incorporated well. So here I have got um, 150 grams of plain flour and also I have got here 50 grams of cocoa powder. Then goes in half a teaspoon of salt and also a teaspoon of vanilla just for extra flavor. And now I'm just going to fold it all in. So just very carefully. When you're going to be doing this, you know that the mixture is so light and fluffy because you can just feel the airiness in it when you're mixing it all up. And now I've got my trusted um, cake tin here, just a rectangle cake tin. If you have a specific brownie cake tin, then you can use that. I'm just pouring half of the mix and what I'm going to do is just spread it out. so intense and gorgeous so just gonna spread it and here I've got 
eight um, Kit, Kit Kat strips. And what I'm gonna do is just roughly chop them. And now I will just sprinkle it on a brownie mix. And now this just goes and covers all the Kit Kat as evenly as is possible. Now with just a spatula, I'm going to try and cover all the And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line half of the brownies with Kit Kat and half I'm going to have without them on top. And I'll decide whether I like it with brownies, um, with Kit Kat on top or not after it's baked. So this goes in a hot oven at 180C for 25 minutes. And then if it's still a lot uh, wobbly in the middle, I'll do another five minutes of baking. And all I'm gonna do is it's baked perfectly without breaking it. I'll try, I'll try. Ah, I'm just gonna let it cool for an hour or so before I cut into this. And I'm going in, they have cooled down. This time I have been very patient and I have not cut into it when it's still gooey. Look at that. Oh my God, that is proper, stunning, glorious stuff. This is not the gooey brownie which I usually make but um, it's still moist and you can see it's so moist it's cut beautifully clean also I was a bit patient today so I let it cool down completely and I am having the pit with the Kit Kat on top oh my god oh my god this is poem oh dear lord The brownies just melt in your mouth. And the Kit Kat is adding a lovely crunch. Mm. You can enjoy it, obviously on its own, but with a scoop of ice cream would be fantastic. Hope you're gonna give this a go. Give us a thumbs up. Um, do you have a particularly favorite brownie flavor? Whether it's a peanut brownie or a Kit Kat brownie or a plain brownie let me know in the comments and I'll see you again very soon for a brand new recipe mm.